Hello everyone, myself Vaibha. Today it's a phenomenal move in the Dow Jones Industrial Average and of course the reason is the early data which has been released by the Pfizer on the coronavirus vaccine and that has propelled the equities as well as the other risk assets on the higher side and I think this rally is uh, here to stay and uh, these uh, an initial uh, moves are uh, kind of indicating to us the importance of this uh, new development and uh, its uh, consequences moving forward. So we are betting on the possibility of this uh, upward momentum continuing and I think even now though the valuations are lofty given the fact that the monetary policy is uh, fairly easy on the loose side. So coupled with that and uh, if we see that the other sectors of the economy which were badly affected by the coronavirus pandemic are likely to come back on track after this uh, vaccine is released in next uh, couple of months. So we are looking at that possibility and because of that the risk assets are heavily in demand and this momentum is likely to continue. And one more development which has uh, taken place over the weekend is the confirmation of Mr. Joe Biden as the president-elect of the United States and that has put an end to the uncertainty surrounding the US elections and now on that front also we have the clarity. So there are two major developments which have taken place and both are good for the equity markets and uh, as I said, the other risk assets are also going to benefit. So we have to take that into account and see if there are emerging opportunities for us in today's session. As I see, it's uh, fairly difficult to figure out any moves, uh, any fresh entry points after these sharp moves. And because of that, we might need to wait a while and uh, figure out what are the levels which we need to watch out for as uh, things have changed dramatically. So from that perspective we will be looking at the technical outlook of the Dow Jones Industrial Average first and then we will also see the commodity segment where we will cover the technical analysis for the gold XAU in terms of the USD. Let's start with the Dow Jones Industrial Average technical outlook. This is the daily time frame chart and here when I said unseen, the unseen levels closer to the 30,000s are uh, quite a dream run for the Dow Jones Industrial Average pa participants and uh, if I think uh, any of you had gone in for the trade closer to this uh, recent bottom just before the US presidential election voting. Even uh, as I remember, I had done the session closer to this uh, turnaround territory where I had uh, said that the bottom for the near term moves, which were uh, these uh, moves starting closer to the 29,000 and then this correction all the way closer to the 26,000, it was coming to an end and it is uh, time to think about fresh positive moves, fresh positive momentum on the bullish side. And uh, there in that session I was uh, talking about the S&P 500 but broadly speaking the equity segment was in focus for the United States and uh, now looking back I think uh, that was uh, the optimum entry point for the swing trader. And uh, moving forward we will need to be a bit more careful. We have the Dow Jones Industrial Average trading in uncharted waters now. And uh, as a result of that, the risk is also going to be on the higher side, not to say of the increased volatility, which is uh, likely to stay. And uh, this uh, momentum is going to sustain itself at least for next couple of sessions. So in uh, today's session, we will see on the lower time frame charts if there are any optimum entry points, which we can utilize to gain entry for the fresh trading opportunities. And if we consider the 4 hourly chart, the jump has taken the Dow Jones Industrial Average fairly close to its resistance zone. The 30,000 level is going to be a crucial level both from the technical as well as from the psychological perspective. This uh, brief uh, 
moment above this 30000 was re wasn't really sustained and we saw then selling pressure which has brought back the Dow industrial average closer to the 29500 but as i said now the momentum is on the bullish side and uh, we are not really expecting any fresh uh, break correction below these uh, first resistance level which is now likely to act as the near term support for the Dow Jones Industrial Average and uh, we have this uh, prior high also around the same levels which uh, can be also considered as the crucial support moving forward. So this price band around uh, 28,400 to 28,600 is going to be of the crucial importance for us and as long as we don't really have any sustained break below this crucial level we can be fairly confident of the Dow Jones Industrial Average momentum on the upper side and uh, if we consider the regression curve it was slowly bending on the lower side but now this uh, sharp move on the upside is going to append its uh, trajectory and uh, in due course of time we will see flattening and then reversal on the bullish side and uh, I think by then we will also have more uh, optimum entry points uh, visible as uh, we will see some sort of consolidation taking place after this sharp move on the upper side and as a result of that we will be in a place where we will be able to figure out the entry exit point so that the risk is uh, curtailed and the reward is uh, good enough to take that uh, risk and uh, if we are to going to if we are going to figure out such levels i think these SMA formations are going to be of key importance for us and uh, this near term consolidation phase where the Dow Jones Industrial Average consolidated just little below the 28,500 is going to be of uh, high importance and as long as the price action is uh, trading well above 100 SMA we can be confident of its possible uh, move on the upper side and uh, if we get some sort of correction and if we see that the 50 SMA is also able to catch up with this uh, price action then I think uh, that will be the time to think about getting involved for the fresh trade positioning right now the diversion the deviation between the 50 SMA and the current candles closing level is uh, large enough to warrant us caution and uh, I think we can utilize this uh, prior consolidation phase as our near term stop loss. The stop loss should be kept below this uh, near term swing low and as I said these uh, 50 and uh, 100 SMAs are also going to catch up with the price action in due course of time. Maybe a solution or two will be good enough for the consolidation phase for the Dow Jones industrial average and as a result of that. We will be, if uh, we get the entry point, we will be in good position to keep the risk lower, keep the stop losses sharp and on the higher side, we will be able to target the price levels even beyond 30,000. So that is going to give us the risk reward ratio, which is also going to be better than 1 is to 2. Now moving on to the gold, let's see how things are shaping up for the gold. The gold has taken a dive from levels above USD 1960 to little uh, below USD 1880 per ounce and uh, this is going to append its uh, trajectory. I think couple of sessions back I had uh, done this uh, webinar session on the possibility of gold moving towards this uh, higher levels and uh, this consolidation phase was uh, making it clearer that the near term trajectory is going to be on the bullish side but now things have changed and uh, now it's the time to change our opinion as well and uh, I think given the new developments we are more likely to see the gold breaking below this even uh, near term support the near term support level of around US dollar 1850 per ounce and uh, we might even see it headed lower towards uh, US dollar 1800 in due course of time of course I am not talking about today's intraday moves we have already seen sharp moves of almost closer to the USD 100 and uh, if we 
get any entry point on the lower time frame charts in next couple of sessions then i think uh, we should be looking for the short selling opportunities only and uh, for the buy trades it will be better if we wait and uh, don't really try to catch the falling knife so here and uh, on the four hourly chart we have the formation for the pivot point series and uh, the key level the central pivot point has now given way for the price action to drop below it and uh, we have this uh, gold price moving even below this uh, support zone and moving in the bearish territory and uh, as we are aware from the traditional point of view the price action below this central pivot point is considered bearish and uh, in the near term i am really expecting the price to stay closer to or below this uh, us dollar 1900 zone and uh, this is the price zone which we should be targeting for fresh entries for the short sale trades anywhere in the price band closer to this uh, resistance zone is going to be crucial entry point for us and uh, on the higher side the prior swing highs closer to this uh, resistance zone can then be utilized to act as the near term stop loss the price levels beyond this uh, first resistance can be kept as the near term stop loss but to figure out what are the optimum levels we will have to more or less rely on the sma formation as uh, here the risk reward ratio is uh, not that optimum and for us the risk will be pretty wide and uh, given the highest higher volatility the increased volatility we will have to trade cautiously and try not to lose too much money in uh, this uh, rush to get involved for the short sale trade in gold so if we were to look at the fresh opportunity i think this uh, confluence zone around 200 sma is going to be of crucial importance and uh, this uh, prior swing high which has now given way is uh, also likely to act as the near term resistance so we have these uh, two smas the 200 sma around us dollar 1900 and then we have these 100 sma around us dollar 1920 so these two resistances are also there and as i said we also have this price action resistance so the couple of resistance zones are there and this is going to be a tougher lever for the gold to cross above and uh, that's why we can utilize this price level to act as our near term uh, marker the price action as long as it is below this uh, resistance zone would be good enough to get involved for the fresh short sale trades the sale trades in the gold while keeping the stop losses just uh, anywhere closer to this uh, immediate swing low i think the price zone around us dollar 1940 should be good enough if we are getting involved for the short sale trade anywhere closer to the us dollar 1910 so that will be a risk of around one and a half percentage point but given the increased volatility in the gold i think uh, that's a good choice to keep the stop loss bit wider than what we usually do and uh, to compensate for the risk we are taking we will be targeting 60 to 70 usd per ounce on the lower side so on the lower side we will be targeting the price zone around uh, us dollar 1850 or even below it and uh, i think that is going to give us the risk reward ratio of our uh, minimum requirement of 1 is to 2 or even more than that so that's it from my side for uh, today's session and before i sign off i would also like to remind of the risk associated with trading in the financial instrument and uh, one should be careful while using the information provided stay tuned for the market development subscribe to the deposit bank assets webinar channel goodbye